Hello and welcome to a new lesson Definitions of Linguistics by Ferdinand de Sousa, Noam Chomsky, Edward Sapi, Leonard Bloomfield and many others. Let's discuss the topic Definitions of Linguistics by Ferdinand de Sousa. According to him, language is a system of signs that expresses ideas. The point here to understand is that the language is a system of codes the language is a system of encoding and decoding with the help of which we as humans express our ideas and opinions do you really want to know what are properties of language here is a great chance for you to learn the lesson is designed in such a way that learners feel highly motivated to know each of the properties of language the first one is displacement the second one is arbitrariness the third one is productivity the fourth one is cultural transmission the fifth one is discreteness and the sixth one is duality the link for this lecture is given in the description we move on to the next definition given by noam chomsky he says linguistics is the study of the computational system of human language a biological endowment that allows infinite creativity here three phrases are more important to understand this definition computational system of human language number 1 biological endowment and third infinite creativity the first we talk about computational system of human language look as i talked about linguistics or for that matter language is the system of codes system of signs system of encoding and decoding as a result we get something we receive something we express something so in the way we encode and decode symbols in computation in the same way language comes together to form a set of ideas and opinions that is the point here and the second point here is biological endowment not only language is the system of coding and decoding or language or linguistics is the study of computational system but one must also be possessed one must also be enriched with biological ability biological capability biological power which is inherent in individuals which allows you which permits you which provides you to express your ideas in an infinite manner that is the point here infinite creativity so what we come to understand by this definition is that linguistics or the study of linguistics is or the elements of the study of linguistics are done in the manner of computational system of information for human language but individuals must have biological capability to utilize those systems to express yourself creatively we move on to the next definition given by edward sapi and what he says language is a purely human and non instinctive method of communicating ideas emotions and desires by means of a system of voluntarily produced symbols this definition also has many stages number 1 purely human number 2 non instinctive method number 3 to communicate ideas emotions and desires and number 4 a system of voluntarily produced symbols now let's try to discuss each of the points out of this definition first is purely human language is purely human language is only for human when we say language we talk about human language because no other creatures in the world has the language to express in the way humans can do that is why language is a property of human being human beings are the owner of language the second point non instinctive method we have one instinctive method and we have another point non instinctive method instinctive method means anything that happens naturally and spontaneously without making any effort for example closing of your eyelids which happen regularly without our conscious effort this happens instinctively naturally spontaneously like for example if you see the danger and you cry this cry 
after the danger. This happens automatically, spontaneously. And there are many physical activities which we do spontaneously without knowing that we are doing. But language is non-instinctive. It doesn't happen naturally. It doesn't come to human being automatically. To learn language, you need to make some efforts. You need to practice. You need to be a part of the society in order to learn that language, in order to use that language, speak that language, and so on. So language is a purely human, and also it is done through non-instinctive method, which helps us in communicating ideas, emotions, desires, opinions, and so on. A system of voluntarily produced sound. A system of voluntarily produced symbols means that there are symbols which are arbitrary. We humans have made those symbols happen in this way to represent certain sounds. They are not fixed. So the symbols which we produced are made through a system of voluntarily efforts. So what we come to the point to understand this definition is that language is a purely human. It is non-instinctive. It is not instinctive. And with the help of which we communicate ideas, express our opinions. And it has a system of voluntarily produced symbols. We move on to the next. That is definitions of linguistics. Leonard Bloomfield. Linguistics is the scientific study of language in all its manifestations. Here we have the two stages, two points to discuss. Scientific study of language. Linguistics is not about artistic study of language. Linguistics applies the same set of scientific patterns and analysis as we do in the pure science. So basically, linguistics is a subject of science. It's a scientific study of language because we look at the elements of language from scientific point of view, from analytical point of view. We analyze each element of language, each property of language, each component of language. We discuss and we come to the point and then we decide this is right and that is wrong. In all its manifestations, means in all its capabilities, in all its ways, in all its means in which language can be discussed comprehensively. That is the point here. We move on to the next. William Labov. What he says? He says, linguistics is the study of how language varies and changes in actual use shaped by social factors. According to this linguist, linguistics is all about the study of language in the society. Because social factors shape how the language works, how the language functions, how the language varies, how the language changes in actual use, in practical situations, and so on. We have one more definition. Michael Halliday, what does he say? He expresses linguistics is the study of how language functions in social contexts to create meaning. So the definition given by William Labov and Michael Halliday, more or less the same, but with a little difference. And what is the point of difference is that language functions in social contexts. If your social context, if your social background, if your social circumstance changes, the way you use the language changes. Because it is the background, it is the situation that makes you speak language in a different context, with a different meaning and with a different goal. That is the point of discussion. So these are some of the most important definitions about linguistics. Hope you understand the concept. Thank you and goodbye.